Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your September the 16th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. The title of the meditation, we are responsible for our recovery. Although we are not responsible for our disease, we are responsible for our recovery. That comes from the basic text, chapter three, why are we here? Responsibility was a dirty word in active addiction. We feared it, we avoided it. The people close to us, and perhaps those in law enforcement and the justice system told us over and over, take some responsibility for your life. We thought freedom meant freedom from responsibilities, but ultimately we found it to be quite the opposite. We were enslaved by our addiction. For many of us, this version of freedom landed us behind bars. We are not bad people because we suffer from the disease of addiction and we're not bad people trying to become good in NA. But while having the disease isn't our fault, it's still important to recognize that many of the consequences we face stem from our own decisions. We made choices. We took action. A member shared, all my life, I saw myself as a victim of my circumstances, and I made blaming others the centerpiece of my victimhood. Through step work, we discover that it's important to take responsibility for our past, even though we are powerless to change it. To move forward, we cannot cling to guilt over our past actions nor can we succumb to the shame from the social stigma of being an addict. We can't let our disease continue to overwhelm and paralyze us. We must act differently. NA offers us a chance to take responsibility for our present and future lives. We do this slowly at first, perhaps by performing the most basic of life tasks, being of service in meetings, getting a sponsor. We discover that people can influence our recovery, but we have to do the work our, ourselves if we are to reap its benefits. No one goes to meetings for me, calls my sponsor, or works steps for me, the member continued. No one else is to blame if I choose to neglect my recovery and am caused pain by my choices or cause pain to others. For many of us, the work we do in NA reveals a new perspective on our disease. Many of us become grateful for our addiction because our journey toward responsibility and recovery has made our lives so beautiful and fulfilling and so free. I am not responsible for the way I'm wired, but I am responsible for my life and my choices. Today, I will refrain from blaming others for the consequences of my actions. Today, for me, responsibility equals freedom. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now. Thank you, God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. We are responsible for our recovery. A lot of times I used because I didn't want to be responsible. And yeah, some of it was retrospective, right? I've done something and there's a serious encounter that I'm going to have and I don't want to face it 
all wound up and anxious, embarrassed, ashamed, full of guilt. So why not use before the encounter? And a lot of times my using only spurred my difficult side. It only caused me to become more difficult. And so I would get to the encounter where I needed to own up to my behavior and just act a fool. And there was no, there was no forgiveness in, in that encounter. There was no one saying, oh yeah, she's a changed person. Let's just write this off. No, I would always find a way to say what I was really thinking. And I attributed that level of brutal honesty that would take people by surprise and often cause further harm, especially for myself in the aftermath, I always attributed it to the way that my drug of choice would calm me down. It was definitely mind and mood altering. But that doesn't take away the fact that I chose to use. That does not negate that. And so the damage that I caused, I'm still wholly responsible for. So it helps us. This meditation is helpful to, to help us see the balance. Yeah, I may not be responsible for my disease of addiction in the sense that I'm wired and it's wired within me. But oftentimes the choices that I make, it's just like telling a diabetic, you're not responsible for the fact that you became a diabetic or was born, let's say born a diabetic. But once the education about it is in place, they are responsible for the way that they maintain their nutrition. No one would deny that. You have a choice about what you eat. It's the same thing with the disease of addiction. Once I get the empowering information about it, I have a choice about whether or not I'm going to tap into the obsession and compulsion of the disease of addiction. I have to take responsibility. And when I do it the NA way, when I do it in a spirit of spiritual principles and recovery, I find myself taking the key out of my back pocket and unlocking the self-made prisons that I'm contained in. There is a level of freedom that comes with being responsible for our recovery. And today we need to take that opportunity. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. Have a beautiful day on purpose.